Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy week two. Last week we defined our career goals. This week we're going to go a little deeper. Five year plan. So for each of the next five years, 2023, 24, 25, 26, 27, go ahead and think through what you would like to happen career-wise. Are you a gallery artist? Do you want to have a piece in a solo show in 20, uh, do you want to have a piece in a group show in 2023? Have a solo show in 2025? Uh, are you an animator? Are you a graphic designer? Are you a photography? Obviously, in, in this class, we know we have people doing many different things, but for whatever your career is, uh, get hired at, at, a, at an organization or collect clients, think through those career steps and the money. Uh, what do you expect to have income? What do you expect to have outgo? Um, it, that could be high or low. Maybe you want to, um, you know, spend 250K a year. Rock on, knock yourself out. That just means that you're going to have to bring in 250K or more a year. Um, maybe you're going to have roommates, really low rent, and you think you can get by on 2K a month um, or 3K a month or, you know, whatever it might be. Mostly we're thinking about our art careers, but, you know, do you want to travel? Are you planning on having kids? You know, there are... If you're gonna buy a car or something, that's a significant expense. If you need art equipment, that's a significant expense. Kids are probably the single biggest. Um, definitely not encouraging you, you know, you might already have kids. You might know you never want kids, but you also might say, well, I want kids, but you know, when am I gonna have them and how's that gonna fit in? Um, if kids are in the, you know, near to medium future, Look through the budget, do, kind of do a little bit of research and figure out what's it going to cost me a year to, to raise a child. Um, you know, not picking any favorites again, but you know, if you were planning on being single and having roommates, maybe you would do the fiber art workshops or try to open the ceramic storefront studio instead of being a graphic designer or an entry-level animator or something with a more regular paycheck. On the other hand, if you know that you and your partner want kids in the next few years, maybe you say, you know what, I'd be happy doing graphic design or animation or something with a regular paycheck. And realistically, I think I might need that um, in order to, you know, to support this family that I'm interested in. So um, it can get kind of complicated, but do whatever research is right for you. Obviously, there is no correct answer to this you know, question. There is no wrong answer. There is no one map. Um, but start thinking through your map. If you, you know, put this online on a blog post or something somewhere, and then in 2027 you look back at what you wrote this week, uh, you'll probably laugh because it's going to be very different uh, in 2027 than what you actually were, or what you were, what, what happens will be different than what you guessed. But that map that you make this week is still super valuable. Imagine, you know, you're on an ocean voyage, you land in a new country, and you're dropped off blindfolded, good luck. Or you're dropped off in a new country with a map, and the information that some of the map is correct, but some of the map is incorrect, but hey, it's a start, here's a pencil, here's an eraser, go explore. The, the imperfect map with a pencil and eraser, a lot better than a blindfold and no map. So what you plan out, even though it will evolve as time goes by, is super valuable to try to think through what it is that you'd like to have in terms of career goals, uh, you know, what the income realistically is or isn't. I'm interested in being a gallery artist and I believe that starting in 2023, I can bring in enough money selling my work to live on. Or I'm interested in being a gallery artist and I hope to sell a little bit of work in 2023, but I cannot live on it. So I'm going to continue my job as an optician at Lens Crafters. And over the next five years, I hope to reduce my hours at Lens Crafters um, as I plan to sell more work. Uh, you know, selling art is a, is a tricky thing. I'm sure we've all heard about someone who makes a couple of NFTs and is a millionaire overnight, but there are also plenty of people who are very serious about making work for a long period of time, and it's hard to get that in front of the right eyeballs and to 
and to turn you know work into income so you know we're going to be thinking about networking and how we connect to the world that we want to connect to uh, in the near future but this week it's just getting a map a feel for those numbers so our missions this week are number one five-year plan and number two as always make a new piece of work this week let's be realistic let's be blunt i know some maybe many of you are not going to make 16 new pieces of work this semester it breaks my heart it kills me the work that you made a year or two or three ago in some class that told you to make this thing which is not really your vision for a career right now or the stuff in your parents attic it it isn't your career portfolio i you know this is my portfolio because it's what I had to make for some class is probably not the best way to target the career you're trying to build. So, you know, don't set a gargantuan project every week, set something that's modest and realistic, but make new work every week that builds toward the career you want to have. It's essential. I'm begging you. I, you know, if you don't want an art career, if you want art as a hobby, that's great. That'll, you know, that could be a perfectly good life, no problem. But if you want an art career, it can happen, but it's gonna take some commitment and some work on your part. You already know you have an A in the class. If all you want is an A and you don't care about a career, then don't do anything and this class will take zero hours a week. I'm hoping you will put in a whole lot more time. Put in 10 or 20 hours. Make the work that you want to be able to show to the world to have the career that you want. Okay, so. Five-year plan, make new work. Put them on your etherpad, or if it's images, obviously put them on you know, one of the image sites and then put a link on your etherpad. That will be handy when we meet up for our Zoom one-to-one. -one. Etherpad is cool because we can like go through the five-year plan and we can both write on it and make notes and comments and stuff as we're, we're talking, very handy. But also post everything on Padlet so that we can share with our classmates, kind of hold in it. So I hope by now you have one or two accountability partners and you've set up a schedule of three contacts a week, two texts and one Zoom. The Zoom doesn't have to be long, five minutes is plenty, but set up a schedule and share with your partner what you want to accomplish this week and hopefully you'll go ahead and accomplish it. But also, Let's post on Padlet as a sort of small accountability thing and also just to check in with each other. Let's see the work that we're making and let's read each other's five-year plans and other things as we go forward. So we can get us, you know, let's share the work that we're doing with each other. We can help all of us think through this process of putting together career plans, portfolio. Um, if your five-year plan is really detailed, it might be a lot to stick on Padlet, but what you could either just say, uh, you know, I want to be an animator. I, I think this is a reasonable salary for my first five years based on the research I've done. And the details are here and you can stick a link to your Padlet. So you, you just give a, you know, a brief summary. But um, go for it. Five-year plan, make new work. Stick it on Etherpad, stick it on Padlet. Share it with your accountability partner. Have a great week. Press on.